Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all and welcome to our channel. Actually, this evening we came across this video that has been making rounds in the Muslim YouTube community about a statement made by the famous Mr. Beast, the man who conquered YouTube. So actually, he was known for his Christian for, for his Christian background in the previous years, but in a certain podcast, he made mention that he is not a believer in religion. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So are you saving yourself for marriage? <laughs> not religious. <laughs> At all? No, I'm not. What about not. that Jesus? No. He's saying no. Yeah, like, like are you atheist? You just ask the same question are different you, ways, the answer's the same. Atheist well, or agnostic? I agnostic. Like I mean, the the place is the universe is complex and yes. like it's hard to believe someone didn't do it, but like I don't know, there's a lot. It's it's you know You're open minded. Huh? So, yeah. so you believe in a creator or some sort of being? But it's just deity, like hard perhaps. to tell. I mean, there's a, there's a lot out there, you know. He's just, he's agnostic, so he doesn't have proof to, to push him. That he is agnostic. So, now this is the approach we want to give to this video. The first of all, when we look back at his background, he was a Christian. And he was so fond of his Christianity. And we know there are two things from the Christianity he used to believe in that could lead him into confusion. One thing is... They believe that the church wants him to believe that Jesus Christ is God. And at the same time, the church portrays characteristics of a human being in Jesus Christ. And when Mr. Beast look at the universe, when he look at himself, when he look at everything around, the marvelous movements, systems, the, the oceans, the mountains and everything, that shows proof that the person who created this cannot be a human being. He doubts how possible the church could say that Jesus Christ was God. So, he is confused between two things. If Jesus Christ is a human being, that means he is not the one who created himself and he is not the one who created the entire universe. And if Jesus, if Jesus Christ is God, then he cannot be having characteristics of a human being. That's why he says... Like, I mean... The, the place is, the universe is complex and yes. like, it's hard to believe someone didn't do it, but like, I don't know, there's a lot, it's, it's you know. You're open-minded, huh? So, yeah. so you believe in a creator or some sort of being. But it's just like hard perhaps. to tell. I mean, there's a, there's a lot out there, you know. He's just, he's agnostic, so he doesn't or, have. Yeah. To this level, it's a type of complicated because you cannot determine which is which. If Christianity religion cannot prove to Mr. Beast, who created the world? the universe, and they cannot convince him that Jesus Christ was the one. Then who is the one? That is what he is looking for. Now, if you go around to other religions, be it Judaism, Buddhism, those who worship idols and whatsoever, he will have a whole bag of questions and no one will have ready answers for. That is why he ended up in this point. He is agnostic, meaning he doesn't believe in any God. And by saying that statement, it means he has already completed the first part of Shahada, Kalima Shahada, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. The first part of the Shahada is, there is no God worthy of worship. Minded, huh? so, yeah. so you believe in a creator or some sort of being? But it's just like hard perhaps. to tell. I mean, there's a, there's a lot out there, you know. He's just, he's agnostic, so he doesn't or, have proof to, to push him in either direction or, or another. Hey. But couldn't find the God who created everything, the universe and all what is in it, so that he can completely worship this God. Now, how can he complete the other part of the Kalima Shahada, which is Illallah, except Allah. And other people are worshipping so many other things and claiming that those things are Allah. Human, any normal thinking human being, when he compares these people and these things they worship, to the power of the one who created the universe and everything he, in it, he concludes that there is no God among these things. And that is the first part of the Shahada. There is no God worthy of worship among all of these things that you people have mentioned, be it uh, in, in Christianity, be it in any other religion. Now, how does he find the illallah? How does he find that the only God who was able to create the universe and who has the, uh, the potent power is Allah. Now we advise Mr. Beast on how to get to know 
the true God and the true religion. First of all, you have to wipe away the indoctrination planted into your mind by the church. That they make God look like a human being. Give characteristics that are supposed to belong to God alone to human being. If you, as if you succeed to do this, we go to the next level. For you to know the religion, that is the truth. Ask them what they believe in. Ask them who they worship. If the one they worship is knowledgeable, he has got knowledge of the entire universe, entirely. He has the power to create, and he can create all what you are able to see and all what you are not able to see. He also has the power and the will. He has the will to create also. And then added to this characteristic, he does not have any negative character in him. If you can find this in any religion, know that that religion is true religion. And what has actually made his journey much more easier is the Muslim brother that, that he is having in his team. It is admirable to see how devoted he is, so yes. like he doesn't he doesn't drink, he doesn't do anything. He he's actually he's not one of those people that just preach it. He actually follows it. Talk so about my boy. sometimes it does make me go like, damn, like there's something there. Like he really cares a lot. Ask him who they believe in. Ask him to tell you the characteristics of God. Then you will compare with what you've been getting from the other religions, and you will know that Islam is the truth. This is all we had for you in this video. Do not go away without subscribing, like, turn on the notification button, share the video. That's going to help us grow. Thank you as you do so. May Allah be pleased with you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.